so in my last video, I was testing out this Vesta Instafire right here and as a electricity-free space heater and cooker. And it works pretty good if you want to check out that video. But in the process of doing some research, I you know inevitably ran across some terracotta pot heaters, uh, tea light candles, and and using the canned heat and stuff. And a lot of the some of these videos, uh, one I ran across that it was just a little bit ridiculous talking about how much heat it was putting off. Uh, a couple other ones are pretty good, but they don't really go into detail about how much heat you're going to actually get. Uh, and so what I did, what I want to do today is test this out with these canned heat. Uh, I've got two of the, I've got some of the, the canned heat that came with the Instafire. I've got the cheapest stuff I could find on Amazon, which is this seven pen true heat. Uh, and then I want to try some tea light candles as well as the Crisco DIY uh, Crisco candles and see what kind of heat I've got a few uh, thermometers around set up around here to see if it raises the temperature at all, and I'll also kind of give you my thoughts on how much it's heating right here. I don't expect this to do a whole lot, but I want to get a, I'm just curious, and I want to get a realistic view of what you can expect if you were to use something like this, because it would be a good um, emergency electricity-free type heater. So what we'll do, and this is not the most uh, the best setup, I just basically have the chafing dish container right here and a terracotta pot. I don't have the base or anything like that. I'm just strictly want to see how much heat it's going to put out. So uh, what we'll do is we'll start off with this Instafire canned heat, and then I'll let it run a little bit, and then we'll we'll do some tests as far as uh, and see as far as how uh, how much it's heated up the room and um, in the area surrounding here and the areas outside. Uh, like I said, don't expect a whole lot, but we will see. So I'm going to put that on there. Probably takes about a half an hour or so uh, to really get kicking. Uh, and then we will come back and um, see what the, the readings are on these thermometers uh, after about a half an hour. And then we'll go for an hour, maybe even longer. We'll just see how much this will kick off. All right, so it's been about an hour now, and there really hasn't been much change in temperature in the room. Uh, this is getting a little bit hotter. Uh, right now, it's reading uh, about 111, 112, 113. Uh, so it's starting to heat up, and I knew this was I, I knew this was probably going to happen because this needs to come up to temperature before it starts radiating heat, uh, which is probably something good to know when you're talking about using this sterno uh, or this canned heat because you're going to waste a lot of fuel just getting to the point where this is actually going to start working. So maybe it would be better to start this off with candles and then you get put one of these in there for that higher temperature. What I am going to try though, um, this, this stove that I reviewed uh, yesterday has a Peltier device on it, which is basically, uh, let's see if you can see this, it's just this fan which takes the, it absorbs the heat and this heat turns into voltage, and it turns this fan. It doesn't turn it a whole lot, but I want to see what, what this will do uh, just with the heat coming out of here. I'm not going to put it over directly over the hole uh, because that's pretty hot, uh, but I may change that in a, in a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll makeshift this, just like this whole video is a bunch of makeshift. Uh, we'll put that on there. We'll let this run. Uh, I'm going to just let this go for a couple hours and then, uh, you know, come back when there's actually something to report on other than uh, <laughs> a slight t change in temperature in the clay pot itself. Uh, but let's let this run and see what happens. All right, so this has been going about three hours now, and there really isn't much difference. Uh, the Just so everyone knows, the bottom isn't getting too hot here. Uh, it, so I was, uh, that's why I've been sitting down here waiting with this. Cause I want to make sure this isn't going to get too hot, but you know, I've seen some videos where they can't even touch this thing after three hours with this can of, of canned heat in there. You can't hold your hand on it, but you can touch it. It's, it's pretty hot towards the top. This Peltier right here on this, uh, Instafire stove isn't quite the right design. So it's the fan isn't pushing much out back here. Uh, you can see the temperature is still the 72 we started at. Uh, and this is only about two, three feet away. Now, a Peltier device that 
if if you had a Peltier fan that like goes on a wood stove, that might work. Uh, this on the bottom of it, it's kind of blocks the airflow from this little hole right here. Uh, so I don't know how much that's working. And if you move it up like I had it, where it blows the air that way, the Peltier doesn't get enough heat to generate enough kick. So uh, I don't know if this is the correct, or it, there could be a better design. But what I'm going to do is just let this go for like another hour or so. I'm not going to sit here all night waiting for this. Um, it hasn't done much. And what I'm going to do is try the tea light method, and um, I'll leave that on for, you know, the rest of the night. I'm not going to spend two days sitting here uh, watching this to make sure everything, nothing starts on fire. Uh, but I will do that tonight uh, and before I go to bed, see, you know, after four hours or so. But I'm going to give this another hour, see what happens with it, uh, and see... So it's still on. Anyway, I'll give it another hour or so, see what happens. Uh, this is not something I would depend on in a disaster situation. I'll just say that. Maybe there's better designs, but uh, not too impressed with this, this whole method like you see on YouTube uh, quite a bit. But maybe, maybe with the tea light candles, it'll be a little bit different. Who knows? All right, so this has been going for four hours now, and there's really not much of a difference at all down here. I know this room is kind of large, so my expectations weren't high anyway. The pot itself is 131 degrees. On top, the bottom isn't, uh, isn't hot at all because the, the flame is going up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to replicate the results that somebody else had in a video using tea light candles. Now... I don't think that I'm going to get the same results where I have to take my shirt off and welcome everyone to the gun show. Oh man, it's, it is actually sweltering in here, to be honest. It actually makes me want to take my shirt off. Holy jeez. But we'll see if it does anything more than this does because this hasn't done anything. Like I said, uh, I wouldn't depend on this in a SHTF or emergency type situation. So uh, let's go ahead and switch this out to the... Um, to the tea light candles. Like I said, I'm going to basically do the same thing he did in that video. If I can get this to sit in here, uh, that'll be good enough. That'll stay once I put the weight on it. Uh, I will put four tea light candles just like he did. Now this is probably going to be a, a little bit more heat. I'm not real sure though, because I don't know how much one of these puts out compared to one of these. Uh, but with four of these, it may be pretty equivalent. I, I just don't know. All right, so we've got those going right there. I will put this on there. Kind of sturdy that up a little bit. We are at 115 right now, so we'll see. Uh, you know, I, I, see in a couple hours probably. So it's been a, a few hours now, and this really isn't doing a whole lot. I mean, this is definitely hotter, uh, but that's because it had already started to heat up beforehand. Um, I can put my hand up here, and when I had the sterno in there, um, I couldn't hold my hand here. With these tea light candles, I can. I can't get it real close, but, well, yeah, I can. Uh, but what I'm going to do now, since all of these tests have been a fail so far, is I'm going to move this, Try, like I said, I was going to replicate that video. I'm going to move this up into Lisa's art room. We're going to let it sit there until these things burn out, six hours or whatever, and then we'll come back and see uh, if it is sweltering in her art room. All right, so we've got the clay pot up here with the four tea light candles. It's been about seven hours now that this is has been running, and and this is an eight by ten eight by eight by ten room and it started out at 73 and you can see there that one says 74 that one says 75 so after seven hours you're talking a couple degrees now maybe if it's really cold in here that's probably a couple more and it would take the chill off but if you're talking 35 30 degrees you're talking maybe it gets up to 35, so 
just, I, I think there's better options than this uh, sort of heating system. But in an emergency, it, it is an option. All right, so let's wrap this up. In summary, I'm not, you know, all of that convinced that this is actually a decent option. I did, however, watch a video from Riverside Homestead Life where he had a room uh, that he put four or three number 10 cans with four wicks each inside with Crisco oil in them. And what he did was basically maintained the temperature of that room around 58, 59 degrees as the temperature dropped outside. And I think he tested it for like nine hours and it did maintain that temperature. So I think with something like this, it, it's not going to raise the temperature of a room, but I think maybe maintaining, you might have better results than what I had in this video. I didn't mean for this to turn into a promotion for this Instafire Vesta, but actually this thing works pretty dang well with three of these Sterno cans inside of it. Uh, if you haven't watched the video that I did with this this Vesta, uh, it explains exactly what you can expect from it, and it worked pretty well in the art room uh, that where we tested this one out. Uh, it went up five six degrees, so it actually did make it sort of sweltering in there. This not so much. Now I didn't test with the Cisco oil Crisco oil, and I didn't test with this seven pin because. I tested the heat of all of these different options. What I did uh, was the best comparison I could do was to test how, how hot it got water in a chafing dish. Uh, so the Instafire was definitely the hottest. It got up to 136, 137 degrees. The Sterno was the second, uh, which got up to 126 and a half. Uh, the seven pin, not far behind Sterno, but it came in third at 124. And then the tea light candles, just 102. So that gives you an idea of what you can expect out of all of these different options. So the seven pin is a whole lot cheaper. And I'm going to do a more detailed video on all of this. But the seven pin is a whole lot cheaper than anything else. And it actually does compare fairly well with the Sterno. Uh, the Instafire canned heat, though, uh, is much better. It, it, you know, it gives you a lot more heat uh, for... Uh, it is a little bit more expensive, but it does put off more heat than anything else. So it really depends on what your needs are and what you'd be using it for, uh, and you decide uh, which direction you want to go. But the extra hot uh, is actually extra hot, So, uh, and that's why I wanted to test all this stuff. So like I said, this is just my design, my tests. I know there are different designs and different uh, videos out there. Uh, I wasn't all that impressed. It's not something that I would want to depend on in an emergency. Uh, and just the fact of if you have to do something like this, uh, you probably failed a little bit on your preps. Now, I, I could see this as, like, say you're, you're, you've got a few options to heat your house. This would be just a little extra something if you've got some tea light candles uh, to get this going or some of these Crisco candles. Uh, it, it would be something extra. Put a couple of these around the house and just a, a why not type of thing. But solely depending on one of these, I don't think I'd do it. Uh, if you guys have had any success or 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 know uh, you know any other options, any other designs or anything like that, let me know. Uh, with this Instafire, I'm going to be doing more testing on this in the future. I'm going to probably take it out to the barn and try to replicate what uh, Riverside Homestead Life did. Uh, and see if I can maintain the temperature outside, and then as the temperature drops, see where we're still at inside the barn. Uh, not not very sealed up or anything, and it's all just basically tin uh, and, and plywood, so we'll see. Uh, but any thoughts, any comments, anything like that, make sure and leave them below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, and we will talk to everyone later.